So Google just announced Workspace Studio. And honestly, I feel that this was a long time coming. They're finally bringing their best AI model and also extending it with their agentic framework like Agent Development Kit right into the core of Workspace. So today, I'm going to take you directly inside Workspace Studio, do a quick walkthrough and build out four to five hands-on demos so that you can see exactly how powerful this is. Basically, this tool lets you build no-code AI agents just by using natural language. And I don't mean simple automation, right? I'm talking about agents that can reason and understand context and can take multiple actions. You can imagine this as having an assistant that can automatically email the entire team a summary and action items the minute the meeting ends. It can also create a JIRA ticket by reacting to a chat with an emoji or even auto-create a Salesforce contact the moment a lead fills out a form. Yes, all of these are possible for anyone without a code experience. So let me just stop talking, jump into the tool and start building. So to get to Workspace Studio, you just need to type studio.workspace.com and then it should take you to this particular site and then welcome to Workspace Studio. So this is the UI where it basically provides you multiple ways for you to go ahead and create an AI agent. So what you're seeing on the screen is the Discover tab. You also have the Plus tab, which is where you can create an agent from the scratch. Discover tab is where you have the capability to either use an existing template or go ahead and describe something in plain English for it to convert and create an agent on your behalf. So you can see some amazing templates out here. And the way Google has thought about this field is they're looking into each one of their workspace ecosystem. Some of the examples which they've listed here, right? So email boosters, you can notify me about email from key people, label the emails automatically, better meetings, get pre-meeting briefs and chat. It's very interesting. So these are all the things that are available and you can select this and make something of your own. Now, what I want to do here is take you guys through a scenario and we will use natural language to build that agent. So before we actually build the agent, I want to explain the scenario. So I have an upcoming meeting today at two o'clock, which is around a partnership renewal. We are looking at a Q4 deal. And as part of that, I just want to be super prepared for the meeting, right? So these are some of the some of the emails that I've got. One email talks about latency issues from an API. So and then another issue talks about they want some additional discounts. So before I get into the meeting, if I had my assistant help me get insights and what should I be prepared for the meeting, I think that will be gold, right? So let's see if our agent is able to do that. So I'm going to describe exactly that here. So I'm going to say that at 8 a.m. every day, send me a meeting prep. For every meeting you see, I want you to dig into the, my emails to find the story behind that relationship. Don't just show me the last email. I want you to summarize the state of our work with them. Once you have processed this, email me a full briefing so that I can read before the calls. Also, ping me here in chat immediately if you find any red flags, right? Like tasks I promised to do but I haven't done or urgent issues they have raised that I missed. So this is a pretty interesting detailed activity or detailed agent that I'm kind of asking natural language to build. What it should do is really, it should, first of all, it should see that, okay, there is an, there's an upcoming meeting and then it should like look into all the existing emails related to that meeting. So we have the same email address and stuff like that over here. And then based on that, it should be able to go ahead and, and create this for us. Okay, so fantastic. So it was able to create that. Now, if you see here what it is saying, because we said like at 8 a.m., so it has already done that. So the trigger is actually on a schedule. Then it is asking Gemini and look at this, right? Analyze my calendar for today's meeting. For each meeting, search my email to summarize the story of my relationship. Like perfect. Uh, so like this is exactly what I wanted. And then based on whatever it finds, it needs to send the email. And then also it needs to decide, right? Like whether there are any red flags. This is very critical. So this is like, a decision loop that I'm absolutely asking my agent to do. So now this is a check step, right? So if the decision is true, then go ahead and extract the information. So again, like the content is here and take an action. The action is equal to notify me on the chat, right? Like there is a red flag in today's briefing, right? And then if there is nothing, then don't, don't take any action, just send me an email. So this is a pretty interesting agent that we just created using natural language. And it, the reason why it's very, very interesting is because it is able to also connect to the broader Google Workspace ecosystem, right? So it's able to look at the calendar, 
It's able to send me an email. It's also able to obviously decide. And if, if you want, we could have also asked it to create a doc and presentations and sheets. So we'll, we'll talk about it in a second, but it, there is definitely a possibility around that. So I'm going to test this. I'm going to start and see what happens, right? So it has started. And now it is asking Gemini to see if it is able to do it. So we'll give it a second. There you go, right? So it, it is it is able to figure this out and you can see it has already responded and it has sent an email and now it is kind of deciding whether whether to ping me or not, right? So we'll, we'll go back to the email and see what happens, but really quickly over here, right? So this is the detailed briefing. It should have emailed that briefing to me. It has talked about the attendees and stuff like that. And then like it, it found there is an urgent issue. So 15% discount and then it should also ping. So let, let's go to go to this and see what it has done. So refreshing and here you go, right? So this is the email that it has sent just now, right? Here's your meeting profession for today. And then it is telling me about the red flag. And you can see that it has actually pinged me over here, right? So you can see here like urgent red flag found in today's briefing, provide an update on the unaddressed API latency issue, which is exactly what this email is talking about, right? So there is an API latency issue which is which could be detrimental to this also i think here that they're also talking about like a discount here right this is like perfect right like it's it's a fantastic smart agent which notifies me in different places i want in a very short amount of time so in the next demo i want to take you through how you can create an agent from scratch so in this one let's take an interesting scenario so the scenario is let's say that you have a form which the user fills and as soon as the user fills the form then i want the agent to analyze the responses and then go ahead and send them an email right so that that is the workflow that i want to create so i come back here in this case i'm going to click on this plus sign and here i am in the starter page now in this one you you have all of these different options on how the agent could start right so what should be the trigger last time we had got with the schedule but you can have all of these different triggers as well right when you get an email or someone pings you or when something changes in a sheet in this case i'm going to go with the form so it, it asks me okay where the form is so I'm going to find the form and click on insert again, like the whole Google ecosystem is here and then choose the step, right? So now in this one, I'm going to ask Gemini and I'm going to enter the prompt, right? So depending on the familiarity of, and when I pre press on the at the rate sign, like it is able to go figure out the variables that were there in the previous prompt, which is pretty cool, right? So depending on the familiarity of this person and uh, based on their response of and then I'm going to just type in two variables, right? So how familiar are you? And this. Suggest them why they should subscribe to Surya with AI YouTube channel. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can also give them the link to the YouTube channel, right? right? So that, that'll be interesting. So that becomes my step two. And then what I'm going to do is once, once I've given all of this to Gemini, then I'm going to ask it to send an email. And then the email would be to the person who has submitted the form. So it is again, taking that variable subject is thank you. And then the message is going to be created by Gemini, right? So those are the steps that, that I'm going to create. And then I'm just going to click on test run, right? So before I could test it, I'm just going to submit a response. I just typed in my email, I'm just going to type in my name, just some values here, and then go ahead and click on submit, right? So now it has submitted and then we go back and then start. So what it should ideally do is it should look at the response, analyze the responses. So how familiarization and stuff like that, and should create like an interesting reasoning on why they should be subscribing. So. It has done its job. Let's go to the email and look at what it has sent, right? So yeah, that's exactly what we had asked. You should subscribe to the channel. It has done that. And the channel offers practical hands-on tutorials, it's making AI simple. So uh, we can obviously make it much more impressive and better if we spend a little bit more time, more than, <laughs> more than a minute right now. We're spending very less amount of time because we're doing a live demo, but you can clearly see how this can work very well, right? So that, that was an interesting demo where I wanted to show you how to create an agent from scratch. So to understand some more functionalities, let's go back to creating a new agent from scratch. And when you do that here, obviously these are all the triggers, right? So the trigger is on a schedule and the stuff that we discussed last time. 
But in actions is where you will see some more interesting stuff, right? So you can obviously be looked at Ask Gemini. So this is the large language model, but you can also ask a gem. So this is where it gets super interesting because you are now able to leverage the gems that you might have created or the gems that Google has made available publicly, right? So that's something which you can, things that you can also look at is you can ask the AI to recap your email. You can actually extract information, which is very interesting. You can actually give content, your URLs to get the information out. So this could be definitely interesting. And then you can also have like different skills. So for example, decide, decide is a good one, right? So you can like let Gemini decide if the content is urgent or some sort of like a response required. So this is going to be very handy when it comes to looking at emails and going through emails, part of like advanced agents that you're able to create as part of that, right? So, and then rest is pretty standard. You can also create a task. And this is where you're also seeing some of the third party integrations. So you already see Asana integration, conference integration, HubSpot, Jira, MailChimp, QuickBooks, and also Salesforce. So they're obviously working on it and it's increasing. That is what it looks like today. So the real power is when you actually create the new agent and see all of these together, you will be able to get started pretty quickly leveraging any of these templates. All right, so that was all that I wanted to cover today. I feel that Google is moving really in an interesting direction by integrating Gemini in all of their products and now integrating directly in Workspace. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comment section. Again, if you're interested, in me going deeper in creating more advanced agents in Google Workspace Studio, please let me know in the comment section as well. And I'll be very happy to make that. Thank you once again for taking the time to watch the video. If you did find value in the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Thank you once again, and I will see you in the next one.